All right, today we are going to make a surface for this surface here uh, with logos and uh, make it custom so that you can uh, do it using the free software, uh, the GIMP software that's online. And I'll show you kind of how to put it together and some of the shortcuts that help make it much easier. If you're used to Photoshop, uh, it's not totally like Photoshop, so some of the shortcuts are a little bit different. Let me show you. On my desktop, I have my blank field surface that I, I have as part of my tutorial series. Um, has all the logos removed on it. And then I've got the two logos that I'm going to use uh, to put in uh, the end zones and on the 50 yard line. These are PNG files, which means that the background will not be in there. So you'll see grass between these uh, bits of the logo. Okay. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is grab your field surface and just drag it right into the program and drop it. And you'll see that will create this as your first layer. On the right side, your layers will be right here. Okay, and we'll go in and grab our end zone file and just drop, drop it right where you need to put it, right in the center. And you can move it around this way. Okay, I use this button here, this little tool to uh, I use this little tool here to rotate it and you'll see the rotation tool. So right underneath it, hit shift and it will stop it right perfectly square. Take it to the end zone and then make it a little bit smaller till it fits in the end zone. When you like how it looks, let's go a tiny bit smaller. When you like how it looks, hit enter. Boom. And there you go. Control C, Control V, and take it to the other side of the field. Take your copy, and then all you got to do here is rotate it again. Hit Shift, and it's good to go. Hit Enter. Oh, let's move, let's move that just a little bit. Hit Enter. There we go. And hit Enter. All right, now we are good. Let's add our uh, sub mark to the 50 yard line. Find your file, drag it to the 50, boom. It's gonna be a little bit too big, I think. Hit Shift T. Oh, floating selection, anchor. Yeah, sometimes that will stay flashing and you gotta hit the anchor button over here. Okay, and Control T make this a little bit smaller okay, and then drag it to the 50 and center it, hit enter, and go back just a tiny bit okay, and hit enter. And we are all set. You've got now uh, the end zones done and the 50 yard line done with your branding. You can go to file, export as, and you can call this the, I'll call it my Drill Design Solutions Surface 2020. That'll help me understand that it's in 20, put it on the desktop, export. And then we'll do the quality at 100, why not? And export. And now, you should have a file here, Drill Design Surface 2020. You can preview it. It looks good. There's everything in place. Okay. One more step. We got to put it into our program. Open up Pyware, go to File, Document Options, Real View Perspective, Surface, and hit Choose. And I find you just hit Open Surfaces Folder, and your Finder or whatever should open up. Okay. And you want to keep that open and then just drag your brand new surface in there. And there it is. Close that out. And when you click again on another file, it should show up. Uh, let's see, Drill Design Surface 2020. Choose that one. Hit OK. And now, I want to make sure we cut that all that out. All right, cool. And now, you should have 
a surface in which you can create on that has your branding. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and like and subscribe to my channel.